Over the last several years, Senator Collins has secured funding for the Advanced Engineered Wood Composite Center at the University of Maine for the development of a number of composite technologies that have been successfully brought to market. Now Senator Collins is working with Dr. Habib Dogger, director of the center, to explore ways to harness Maine's unique wind resources. The state of Maine has the equivalent of 40 nuclear power plants worth of wind within 50 nautical miles off the shore. Uh, um, that's a, a wonderful resource uh, that uh, will allow us uh, to become an energy, clean energy exporter, if you wish, uh, to not only to Maine, but also to the rest of the Northeastern United States. Um, uh, so Maine can play this national role and regional role in renewable energy production. In April, Senator Collins wrote to Energy Secretary Stephen Chu, requesting a meeting to discuss an ambitious plan to develop a national offshore wind center at the University of Maine. What we want to do is to make Maine the national center for deep water offshore wind energy. We would do the research and the development that would produce the stronger turbines, the technology that's necessary uh, to, to site these windmills in deep water. In order for us to achieve this vision, if you wish, it is critical for us to solve a number of research challenges. Uh, uh, how do we design materials that will withstand 20 or 30 years the environment out in the Gulf of Maine? How do we design towers that will withstand 80-foot waves and uh, withstand 150 mile per hour winds and survive under those kinds of environments? These are the kind of research challenges that this National Research Center would, would, would be able to, to solve. Secretary Chu accepted Senator Collins' invitation and sat down with her last week, along with Governor Baldacci, Professor Dogger, and the rest of Maine's congressional delegation. I believe that the Secretary was very impressed with what he heard today and was pleased to learn about the work that's already being done at the University of Maine. The U.S. Department of Energy has established a goal of meeting 20 percent of our nation's electricity needs with wind power by the year 2030. And what we presented to the Secretary today was a plan where Maine would play a leading role in helping the Department achieve that goal. Professor Dogger outlined his vision for a national deep water offshore wind center and made the case that Maine is uniquely situated to lead the nation in the development of wind power. Deep offshore wind is a, is, a, is a large national resource and is critical for us as a nation to invest in research and development to be able to harness this resource for our own energy security. And Maine can lead the country in this direction. Uh, because we have the closest uh, 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 deep waters, if you wish, to the coast of Maine. And because of our manufacturing and R&D infrastructure in the state of Maine, the, the Composites Lab at the University of Maine has been a national leader in developing advanced materials to be used for boat building for the Navy, to be used for the Army for blast and ballistic protection, uh, to be used for rapidly deployable inflatable bridges that, that have been developed and commercialized from this lab. And at the same time, this lab is partnering with industry in the state and beyond to develop this offshore wind floating platforms. Uh, another major resource that we have in the state of Maine is our know-how uh, to build structures that go in the sea. Uh, BIW is just one of the many traditions and, and com companies the state of Maine has in our, in our boat building tradition. Uh, but also uh, companies such as Chimbro who have built a, a, a 12,500 ton uh, fifth generation deep water exploration rig that can explore uh, for oil uh, in waters up to two miles deep, uh, in, 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 uh, in areas up to two miles deep. Uh, and this was built in Maine and shipped all the way to Brazil. And we're the only northeastern state that has a manufacturing infrastructure and know-how has ever done projects like that. So from the, from the, from not only from the university research capacity, but also our, our manufacturing infrastructure in the state uh, is ready to take on such a challenge at the national level and lead the way. The development of a national center in Maine would be a huge boost for Maine's economy, bringing an estimated 15,000 new jobs to our state. 
I'm very excited about the potential for offshore wind for the state of Maine. This would give Maine the opportunity to be a leader in renewable energy to help meet our state's electricity needs, plus uh, to contribute to the electricity needs of all of the Northeast and to be a leader in producing green jobs, jobs that are much needed in our economy. So this is a, would be a win-win from both an economic and an environmental perspective and could help us reduce our dangerous dependence on foreign oil. Learn more online at collins.senate.gov.